Electricity has changed humanity like no other form of energy ever has. This is a chart on the price of lighting from the days of Columbus to, to roughly today. Do you want to know how cheap lighting is? I live in Austin. I'm just, you know, up the, up the road here. I live in an okay house, a nice, you know, middle class, maybe, you know, nice neighborhood. Guy bought the house down the street from us about five years ago, and they had just recently redone it. You want to know how cheap lighting is? He has 46 lights on the outside of his house. <laughs> My wife, we go walking, I count them. I know I've counted them three or four or five or six times, but I count them every time. Can it possibly be 46? Yes, it is in fact 46. And yet, remember that it is within living memory that people I know remember the day that they got electricity in their homes in Oklahoma in the 1940s. This isn't ancient history, this electrification thing. And in fact, it is still ongoing around the world. What about literacy and illiteracy? This is the key context for who we are as people, how we learn, how we achieve. You got to be able to read. And what is lighting allowed? Well, remember from prehistory through, I can go back. Why does it matter when you have lights at night? Well, I saw this myself when I was in India. Marina mentioned my film. I interviewed a woman named Rahena Jamadar in India. She was, uh, when I met, she had her first child when she was 16. One of her children was going to college in Kolkata. And they had uh, finally gotten connected to the grid about 12 or 14 years before I, saw, before I met her back in 2016. And I asked her, I said, Rehenna, if you'd had lights in your house when you were growing up, would you have gone to, gone to college? And she answered, she's from West Bengal, and she tilted her head to the right. She said, yes, I would have gone. So this price of lighting... Remember, for almost all of history, it was only the rich and the wealthy and the royalty and the nobles who could afford candles. And then electricity comes along and what it changes the world. What did Edison say? I want to make lighting so cheap that only the rich will buy candles. Have you bought candles lately? They're crazy expensive. Literate population, illiterate population plummets, begins plummeting around 1900, late 1800s. Because what happened? Edison and Insel and Sprague made, ele built electrification on the backs of the technologies that were invented during the Industrial Revolution, and in particular, the steam engine. 